Hey Guru Nation, how's it going? Really quick video, I know you guys like these short ones. So I got a YouTube comment this time, so make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. It helps me with the algorithms. If you don't know what to comment, just put a robot emoji. It's gonna help shatter the algorithms. So the question I got today was, hey Dan, I got two job offers, one for a CRA, one for a site manager. Can you help me out? And these are very different jobs. So the answer is, I can try my best, but ultimately only you know what you want <clears throat> and what your preferences are. So let's go first with CRA. CRA is probably, outside of project manager, one of the most stressful positions in clinical research. It requires a lot of travel, like a lot. It requires a lot of attention to detail. Every single monitoring visit is important because you can catch critical things every time, whether they're temperature excursion, patient safety issues, those are primarily the critical things that you can catch as a CRA and form consent issues. You always have to be alert. <clears throat> Site manager. Oh, and here's an important one. CRA, no patient interaction. Site manager, you're in charge of all the operations at the site, mainly the coordinators. Coordinators and the clinicians are the ones who interact with the patients. But as a site manager, you're also often required to interact with patients for uh, sometimes for backing up staff that are not available other times when there's issues you got to get involved so there is more patient interaction there is way less travel I mean I imagine you'll go to some investigator meetings when they pick those back up if they ever do in-person investigator meetings I think they will uh, also conferences to go biz dev for the site so you're in charge of everything. You're in charge of financial aspects at the site, I think, unless it's operations manager only, then you're not in charge of contracts and budgets. But at smaller sites, you're in charge of more things, contracts and budgets, quality assurance, quality control, recruitment, business development, investigator relations, community relations, way more of a generalist position. Both are great. I don't know what your goals are in this industry, both can get you also to the same place. So you really can't make the wrong decision, but based on where you want to go, you could probably make the optimal one, but I need to know in the comments more, and maybe I'll do a follow-up or just reply in the comments. All right, take care. Good luck and congratulations. Bye-bye.